Hi, hello. Hello. How you doing? Hey, this, this is Courtney. Yeah, how you doing? This is Courtney. This is Tommy, bro. How can I help you? Um, yeah, you were um saying that you were doing the calls and work, stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So as you guys know, right now this call is being recorded and is maybe gonna be uploaded to YouTube. All right. Um All right. so my question or the situation I wanted to talk about was so mm -hmm. seventeen going on eighteen. I'm um I'm about to graduate high school. I got everything set in terms of like what college I'm going to. Okay. Like they they reduce some of my tuition due to the fact that I'm playing football there, so that's cool. Um okay. and I plan on like taking basically a similar route in terms of like going into the business major. And I just wanted to see um how should I set up myself like financially because I'm still gonna be probably in debt. How should I set myself mm. financially and just um for years to come, like the next five years in terms of yeah. After I got out of college. How should I set myself up? Because I'm coming from a, a low income home. So, all right. So it sounds like you, you're giving yourself no option but to go in debt. The first thing is you have one option, and one option is to go in debt and play some like like football and basically still right. graduate debt. But there's other mm -hmm. options out there to also graduate debt free. So before you eliminate every, every other choice, you got to understand that that's just one option that's out there. But there are multiple ones out there. Now, here's right. a question. How much money are you going to be going out of pocket when you go to school? Out of pocket, I'm going to go about, so each year, it'll, it'll probably be up to like 35, 30, 35,000. 35, and that's after they helped you out with everything? Well, it's, no, I'm, I'm calculating it wrong. It's going to be about, yeah, 20, 24, just 24. 24K. And that's with so, the scholarship you get for like when I'm playing football there. And yes. I'm guessing you're a doorman there? Yes. Okay. And what are you going to study? Accounting. So, yeah. Accounting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, you, like, you like accounting? Yeah, I, I do. I like money. And I just come from a okay. home with not good with their money. Same, okay. Similar to your situation, but my pops not, not never really had a stable yeah. income. Okay. All right. So the first thing is this, all right? Accounting is more like just recording transactions and this balance sheets and income statements. It's not really about money as you probably might think yeah. it is. I recommend you watch like maybe like a, like an intro to accounting course, like just like um, uh -huh. on YouTube, they should have one of those. So we can see exactly like what the whole like course is about. As oh, far cool. as, for example, going directly into school and going into debt. Now you have two options here, right? The option is, well, I'm going to go to a four year school. The first two uh -huh. years are going to be basically like prerequisites, right? So that's like just trash. And then mm -hmm. I can go ahead another two years and basically graduate in accounting and so on. And I'm basically playing football. Now, with that option right there, you go into debt. Second option right. is you do that same exact thing. But while you're in school, you make a massive sacrifice and you also get a job and try to earn oh, around $24,000. Yep. Yeah, yep. right. I'm, and now I'm, I'm, you have I'm, to understand. Go I'm, ahead. I plan on getting a job for sure. Okay. But you have to understand, right, if you're in college, yeah, I recommend you get a job, obviously. But understand, you're in college, you got a job, you also got the whole football thing you got to maintain. And by the way, is a scholarship, like, um, how do I say this? If you stop playing football, does it take the money away? Um, I I don't I don't believe so. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Like, All right, I, so you want to research that, parents, right? Parents, you want to research yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, because if, 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 you, if you do find yourself, like, having, like, problems, like, having work, school and football, right? Because that takes practice. It's not just like, oh my gosh, you might find yourself in trouble and you might lose a scholarship, right? So consider that also. But there is also a third option, right? Third option is, let me go to community college where I'm from, in my area, right? Mm -hmm. Those two years first and then basically graduate debt free because community college are cheap and I can get a job while I'm in my area. By the way, right. where are you from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri, okay. Now, I don't know anything about that area, but if you can find a good job in that area to help you pay for yeah, school, okay, awesome. Yeah, and if you can graduate, for example, in two years, right, with your prerequisites, and then if you want to go, for example, to become an accountant, you can go for, to a four-year school and get that two-year of college and just graduate also debt-free. Does that make sense? It's like a better option. And you want to apply for a ton of scholarships also. But don't yeah. don't just say, hey, you know what? The only way is to go to school and get into debt. That You don't have to do that at all. That's, that's something to tell you. People that are in debt tell you a lot of the times. Exactly. Yeah. People who go into debt, you basically yeah. go into debt. They make it seem like the only way to, to go to school is just going going into debt. Now, 
you you did tell me in your little in, in the message you sent me that you have a side hustle and you also have YouTube going on. Yeah, I have YouTube. I have a side hustle. I have like a motivational page where, where I can start like marketing and selling T-shirts and stuff like that. Okay. And I do like I do resale, so I like I resell it phones and stuff like that. So you do phone flipping? Yes, I do. Okay, now how much money would you say you're making from your side hustle per month? Per month, I would probably I would probably make like almost up to a, a thousand, so like about seven hundred, something like that, a month. Seven hundred to a thousand. And what are you currently doing with that money? What I'm doing, I'm I'm actually saving it. I'm saving it right now, and I'm doing. I was doing. I looked at one of your videos, and I'm actually like budgeting it. So I paid off my school, my high, because I go to a private school. So I had wow. to pay. Yeah, I had to pay them. So um, I paid them off actually like a few days ago. So I'm I'm done okay. with that, but I'm I'm now currently just saving it. Okay, and you don't have any other debt or whatever, right? No, no other debt. Nope, I'm good. Okay, and, and then how's your home situation? Is 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 everything good at home? Like you can stay at home, no problem, or do you need to move out? Yep, no problem. Okay. I can stay at home. I understand? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Then it sounds like you can work your side hustle, work a job, go to community college, graduate that free, then go, for example, to a nice state school. By the way. If you want to become like a football player, like a star, or whatever, you might want to do that, right? But if your if your goal is to just graduate an accountant yeah. and work that job, you don't have to do that whole thing. It's like me saying, like, like telling you, like, hey, you know what, Courtney, you can come to my school. It's a hundred k. You get a scholarship right. for twenty k, but you still exactly. owe me like eighty k. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you just weigh your options. In, in state school, you stay at home. You go to school. You graduate that free. You become an accountant. If you want to become a, a CPA. You study for the test. You become a CPA. You get that job. But while you're doing all this stuff, you're still working. On your, and by the way, you remind me a lot of myself because what I was doing, yeah. you're, you're 17, right? What I was doing, not, not you're, you're a lot more early than I was. But what I was yeah, doing I'm, was basically. I'll say, I'll say this. I'm earlier due to the fact I'm watching your videos. Like awesome. I started everything early. I'm watching it from people. I'm, I've seen it from my dad, people who just bad with money, just people in my neighborhood. So, And I'm watching your videos like every day. So. Awesome. Yeah. My, my whole my whole thing is you remind me a lot of me because basically what you're doing right now, you might not notice it, Courtney, but all you're doing is just tasting things. You're right. tasting things to see exactly what you like. Do I like phone flipping? Do I like reselling? Do I like Instagram? Yep. Do I like YouTube? And that's what you're supposed to do at that age, right? So figure out exactly what you're good at. Now, going to college, yep. usually I would say like, be careful, right? But if you're going to pick account in a good career with a good history, that's actually a good uh -huh. idea, right? But while you're going to college, Keep tasting those things to see exactly which one is going to make you... Like, by the way, you want to find a sweet spot of three things, right? The three things are basically, what do I like, oh. right? That's the first question. What do I like? What am I good at? There's a difference, right? Because you might like something, but you might... Like, okay, I like football, but I can't play as good as you probably. Does that make sense? Exactly, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And then you have, for example, like, can it make me money? If you get two yeses and one no to money, it sounds like a hobby. Right. So as far as YouTube right now, what's your channel about? How's it going? What's your goal there? Um, so it, it's called I Motivate TV. It's a, it's like a motivational going off of my Instagram, and mm -hmm. it's, I just talk about like my experiences that I went through in terms of like if it's talking about mental health, just mm -hmm. like motivate people, or just talking about my experiences in, in a low low income environment. So I do that. I, I post like once a week. I'm probably gonna have to start doing every day, but. I do, yeah. I'm getting a good I'm getting a good follow off of uh, TikTok as well. Mm -hmm. I'm growing like a hundred a day or like fifty uh, followers a day because I mm -hmm. post consistent just motivational videos. So it's going pretty well. Like I'm I can build yeah. a brand off of it. Okay, awesome. Just remember, right? Every platform is different, so the way you post on every yeah, platform exactly. is going to be different. So YouTube, right. if you want to do motivation, you can do it if you want to. But if you want to, like I, I I could see you doing, for example, flipping things. And doing probably like a lot better on YouTube, like saying like, "Hey guys, this is how you buy a phone, flip a phone, and show right. people exactly how you do the whole." That could do that could be something too, you know. It's just about trying yeah. different things out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And and as far as YouTube, like, what's your strategy? Like how like how much are you posting? Like, what's your goal for okay. the end of the year and so on? So, so my strategy is um, <laughs> part of my strategy is like me watching one of your videos about you posted not too long ago about how to. Mm -hmm. um, get ideas and stuff and not actually watch the full video mm -hmm. but i've also like just made i made it personal too so I, i'm young and i got friends so they follow it too so i, I got a big following already but how, much, in how, general, much, I, how many subs do you have 
I have a hundred, but I started not too long ago. So That's I started like a couple months ago. So, but me posting every day, I probably bring it, but I don't have that time yet. You know, so I post every week. And yeah, um, so you should if if you if we were like think okay, doing too many things at the same time usually is not a good idea, right? So if right. you want to focus in on one of them, like by the way. Doing Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, that's like just one thing overall. It's just, just social media. That's fine. But doing, okay, for example, cool. all of that and then also have we'll like, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Football. Exactly. Exactly. Now, it, it's up to you. Like, because people can make sacrifices and like get everything done. Uh, you might be superhuman, but for me, usually what works is if I want to do YouTube, I focus on basic. When I want to do YouTube, like for real, for real, I had, a, I had my business on the side that made me money, right? And right. before I did that, I had like, like a whole job thing. But I had one way to make income, and then I had, for example, my YouTube, and I was also going to school. So that's possible to do. Right. That's fine to do. But you have to settle okay. down on what exactly my video is going to be about, and you got to focus on, hey, SEO optimization. That's important. That's basically the keywords you use on your videos to make sure that actually gets searched up. Again, YouTube is just a search engine, right? So you got to make content right. about things that people are searching up. And can you relate to? Exactly. Exactly. And just sharing your story. And you want to make sure your descriptions are on point. And you want to make sure you're posting. Like once a week is cool, man. But if you if you really want to see some results, you probably want to go like seven, like every day. Every right. day. Exactly. Yep. And you'll get a lot better by doing it that way. Gotcha. I appreciate that. All right. Do you have any more questions, brother? Um. Yes, I'm going to make questions. Um, yeah. Uh, how How is like, how has it been like your experience with uh with YouTube like and trying out things? Cause I, I heard you say you started at so and so and you were going off of people. A what? And what you were going you were going off of what people were making on YouTube and but it, it wasn't really what you wanted to do. It wasn't your niche. Oh so mm -hmm. how how did you truly find that like what you the wanted niche. to do on Yeah. It's like it's like how your mom says when you when you find the right girl, you'll know that's that's the one. <laughs> It's yeah. kind of like, it's corny, but it's, it's, it's how it works, you know? And again, you got to taste things out, right? When I first started YouTube, my first video was on Naruto and Sasuke as an anime. It was about Ooh. them fighting. And then uh -huh. after that, I got into comedy. I got into vlogs. I got into drama channels. I got into, like, new stuff. And I just mm -hmm. tried to, and gaming. Like just, try, like, just trying things out to find exactly what I'm actually, like, you know, what I'm good at, what I like, and what's going to make me money, right? That's the whole mm -hmm. pattern. And usually, the answer is basically... If you can see yourself on a Saturday night, what are you talking about for free? For me, that was always money. I was always talking about money, right. but I never thought anyone was going to be interested in money topics, right? right? So when I started making those videos, that's when I said, okay, I actually like this. I'm good at it. It's going to make me money. And and, and that's, there's like this, um, there's this like um level to it, right? Because once uh -huh. you find what you're good at and what, what people want, you're not going to grow like all of a sudden. You have to keep making content. making So you got to love what you're doing in a way. To keep going yeah. without seeing any real results, but knowing that results are gonna come by because and the way I figured out is basically, well, if Graham Stefan, me Kevin, Brian, all these yeah. guys can do this stuff, then why can't I do it, right? Right. Yeah. That's, that's fact too, because I I would say like like you like you were saying it in one video or just in general, people were like saying that, okay, I wanna get a high paying job, but they don't mm -hmm. love it. And that, and then yeah. you wanna come you want to get home and just talk about it to your friends or just be exhausted yeah. and say, hate this job. It, it doesn't make sense. Do what yeah. you love doing and then just stop trying to live a life that you're not at at that point. Because, mm -hmm. like, that's that's where it comes, like, I'm wasting money and all types of stuff. So, yeah, I totally agree. But sometimes, let me be honest here, right? Some, I, I, I didn't like working at Gap. I didn't like working um at college. I didn't like working, at, for example, at Town Sports. I, I, didn't, I, I hate the business I'm in now. And sometimes, yeah. like you have to do certain things, like um, to be able to feel what is what, what you actually want to do. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, yeah. So, it, but it, you, you, I'm saying like you at mm -hmm. that point, where yeah. You know, so then it's like there's no point of whining. Like you already know what mm -hmm. it is because you try so many things. But I, I yeah. think that's just yeah. And even when, if you if you do make it, for example, in YouTube, like just make it. The only way to the, the only way to fail on YouTube is to stop making videos. Because you don't know yes. when it's going to happen, you know? Yes, that's facts. You just stop. It's like, no, you, yeah. those those subscribers are dead. Like, they yeah. may not remember. Right. Exactly. And just focus on, like, subs are cool, man, but just focus on helping people. If you focus on helping exactly. people, 
that's that's where the results are going to come from overall. Yes, that's right. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would, I'm, I'm probably, okay, the, la- the last question I would ask is, mm-hmm. um, what, what's, okay, so, you, you, you're at this point, you're, what, 24 now? Yeah, 24. What's, what's your plan, to, to what's your plan, like, in terms of network, in terms of business, in terms of strategy, to get to that tier of, like, okay, I'm, I'm here, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a millionaire type thing or something like that, like, when you get, Basically, in the next five years, five to six years, when you're thirty. I think when I when I was um when I was nineteen years old, my goal was to have a hundred k by the time I turned twenty five. Uh huh. I did it around like twenty three, twenty two. Nice. My goal was always like I want to have all this stuff, right? But you have to be honest with yourself, right? I yeah. don't honestly like. Okay, I can I I make basically like around like six to nine videos every day, right? Basically, sometimes. And okay. it's great. Like, I have a lot of fun doing it. But you have to, like, say, for example, I'm Courtney. And uh-huh. I see I want to make all this money in the world, right? But what does it take to get there? You got to be honest and say, like, hey, am I willing to do that? Is that what I want? For me, in the next five years, what I see myself as owning, for example, having my house, having my financial security, keep making right. videos, having my wife, having my family built up. But just keep doing more of the same stuff. That's That's honestly all it is. Like, yes, I could, for example, expand a lot more do this, do that, but is that going to make me more happy? Like, even Warren Buffett, right? You know Warren Buffett yeah. is, right? Yes, I know exactly who he is. <laughs> the, only, the only reason Warren Buffett is, is, is so damn rich is because what he chose to do just makes him a lot of money. But the guy that... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just what he does makes him a lot of money, but if he wanted to be, like, the best, like, McDonald burger flipper, he would have done that and maybe not right. be a lot, like, very wealthy, but he would have still be, be happy. Does that make sense? Yes, that does make sense, yes. So money's important, it's much, but it's yeah, all about it's not, having a balance. Yeah, it's not how much money you make; it's how much you keep. Like, yeah, that's too. I'm not all into the materialistic stuff. Like I probably said I used to it two years ago. Mm-hmm. I, I mature fast. Like I'm, I'm like an old soul. So it's like I'm, I'm <laughs> like yes, I am. I'm just gonna be honest. Like so quickly, I'm, I like wisdom and stuff like that. So that's awesome. I'm. Um, I'm like I like reading books and I'm I'm starting to read the uh, intelligent investor right now. So, so you you want to get into investing in stocks? Yeah, I want to I want to do everything. I'm not saying like, you know, like type like a Jay Z type thing. You know, invest and you know diversify your incomes and stuff like that. So, I mean, well, like, again, what yeah. Jay, what Jay Z has is basically I think he invests into Uber. He has like into the alcohol business and the music industry. It sounds like he's yep. doing a lot, but in reality, he's just putting money somewhere to then yeah, give him more money, money, right? So yeah. he started with rapping. He used that money to to do that. So yeah, I see what you're yeah. saying. Let me ask you a question. What what's what's your goal overall? Like in in five years, where do you see yourself? Oh, um, in, in five years, I just I see myself. I see myself as just being like the first to do everything. Um, in terms of like in my house, because like nobody, I'm the first, I'm going to be the first to go to college. Yeah, I'm going to be the first to graduate. Um, just being the like the chosen, not the chosen one, but like the person who is like changing the narrative. I want to financially, socially, mentally, for sure. Um, and just network. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to. And the best way to do that is when you when you go to college, man. Make sure you graduate that free. Make sure you have when you when you do get that job. Make sure you don't. Make sure you live the same way you're living now when you have that that fancy job. Exactly. Yep. And make sure that if by the time you get that fancy job and YouTube does work and you make a lot of money, keep living the same exact way. When you buy a house, like try to like pay for it as fast as possible. That way you have a foundation right. set. When you buy your car, pay for it in cash. If you have a uh-huh. credit card, don't use it, for example, for like um just going around and buying things. Just put like put a small, small bonus on your credit. Exactly. A, just um yeah. make sure that you're not the example of someone that rose and then fell. Yep. Okay. Like you, I, you don't. It's a good story, right? Like I, I succeeded, then I failed, but it's a better story. Like, I have succeeded, and I stayed up here. Yeah, that's that's fact. I've I've watched countless of your videos, and you talk about the same thing. It, it was not the same thing, but it sums up to the same thing of like, yeah, my dad, my the my role model. He, I seen, I seen these things, but overall, it's it overshadows it because like he's not still, you know, up. You know, he's just bad with money. Yeah. 
I, I yeah. totally understand. I totally agree because currently my pops is bad with money. Don't get me yeah, wrong. He's yeah. a great, great dad, but that's just it is what it is. And when you get where you're going, man, and, and, and you and you have a decent amount of money, if if your parent if you want to help your parents, help them without expecting anything in return. Yes. Yep. If you buy if you buy them a car, don't get them a car with a car payment on it. Just get them a nice car. If you buy them a house, you want to upgrade the house, get them a nice house. Don't don't no crazy payments. If your dad wants money, don't lend it to him. If, right. if you have to yep. give, you can give, but don't lend money to family. It changes the relationship for for a long yep. time. Yes. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, brother. You have any, any more questions? Um, we no, still have ten no. minutes left, Courtney. So if you have anything else to ask, this, this is your time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I yeah. was going to say no. Yeah. Um. No, nah, it's just it's just it's just interesting because like I'm I'm not gonna say like my life is like yours exactly because it's never you know, but yeah. it's just like it's it's very it's very similar because like i mean i I'm, i've born been born and raised in the u.s but it's just like we're eager to learn we're eager to we're trying to break a cycle and people like people want to think we're crazy and, and, and like that's like everybody people don't think jay-z is crazy like bro you're only a rapper no yeah. I'm, I'm this i'm an entrepreneur i'm able to do this and i diversify myself in different mm-hmm. situations and it's just like um yeah, it's, I'm. I'm just try, trying to do better, and I'm trying to. I mean, get wealthy, but I'm not gonna be trying to fiend for it because there's no. I'm trying to serve others. Exactly what yeah. you're doing. If you so if you serve to, people, and you like give people a lot of value, and uh-huh. you become like the best in whatever you do by doing it every single day, the money's gonna come yeah. no matter what. That's right. So overall, after this call, for example, as far as college, as far as like YouTube, as far as all these things. What do you think you're gonna start implementing? Um, like in terms of, like for example, you had the issue with with the college. Like, oh, I want to go to this college. The only way is like the debt stuff. You have the issue with like the YouTube. I post it once a week, and but this stuff and this stuff. Like, like how do you see? Like, what are you gonna do now? Like action, you know? Like I can give you all oh. the advice in the world, but unless you can take action, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, right now, I'm okay. I'm currently. I'm living below my means in terms of like I'm not buying a lot of clothing. I haven't bought any clothes really since like the summertime. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, but I have, I'm just yeah saving, minimizing my my spending, mm-hmm. folks, staying focused, reading a lot of books, um, mm-hmm. posting once a week, posting. I post like three times a day on my motivational page, mm-hmm. TikTok, and it's I'm I'm doing it. I just gotta stay motivated keep going and i I think me me doing it me doing what i love doing in terms of like talking like you like talking but i like i like talking like motivation wise Mm -hmm. and it's just it just it just helps me to keep go going me doing what i love keeps me going so i love doing it so i'll I'll tell you something i learned when i was um i think i learned this in in, back in in college and it's action first um motivation later you gotta eventually, right? I don't. I, I'm. I. I never wake up motivated to do anything. I wake Ooh, up motivated yeah. to watch Netflix and to watch some anime, Attack on Titans, or yeah. just fall asleep. You know what I mean? So like, just, yeah. just, just take action first, and then the motivation will slowly creep in. But don't oh, depend yeah. on motivation. It's all about discipline. Got you. Me, me taking this action is, I guess, is building that motivation. So exactly. Yeah. So just keep working, brother. Yes, sir. All right, Courtney. I appreciate this call. If you ever have any more questions, just like reschedule one and I'll be right here, uh-huh. okay? All right. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, brother. Have fun. All right. All right, guys. So that right there was Courtney. By the way, Courtney, awesome story. Awesome guy trying to basically break the cycle of his family and all that stuff. And honestly, it, 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 I, at one point, I almost teared up, but I didn't because you guys know who I am. I'm, I'm not going to tear up, obviously. But at one point, I almost teared up when he basically spoke about my dad and like the whole story there. And by the way, I forgot to bring this mic over here, right? Because this is the, the channel stuff, but uh, it's too late now, right? But overall, you know, it reminded me a lot of my dad and like having, for example, good examples, but also seeing, for example, the bad things people do and trying to improve on that. So yeah, overall, whatever you want to do in life, just don't trap yourself to one option like, oh, I want to go to this college. That's the one I want to go to. Give me a scholarship. But maybe you don't want to go there. Maybe it's too much money. Maybe go 
for a free one or maybe just go to a cheaper one and do things the correct way dormant is not that cool at all so overall guys that's about it for this video but if you guys want to come on the show with me well go ahead and join the call list so your appointment down below and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and as always if this video right here guys well like this video on top of also subscribe hit the bell shit notified and on top of that if you guys want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, uno uno well just Join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And if you want to watch another call, well, watch this call right here. And also click my face right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.